Hello, it's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to create a space of healing for you, create a space of support and healing. Um, so I'm here to create around our 4-4 healing event, or this is our 4-4 healing event is what I should be saying. This is our 4-4 healing event. So happy 4th of the 4th. Um, I try my very best to bring you a healing event on the power day of each month. So the 4th of the 4th, the 7th of the 7th, the 1st of the 1st, that sort of thing. So for the most part I'm here, occasionally I don't get in. But I am today and I'm very grateful to be here and I trust that this video finds you well. So what I'll be doing for the next... 45 minutes probably is I'm going to be creating this healing space and it's composes of two segments a time of receiving and a time of giving so during the time of receiving that'll be time where I play the drum I've got the Dreamweaver drum here which is available on the website the Dreamweaver drum I'll be playing for our time dedicated to receiving. So this will purely be for you. This will be your time for you where you can hopefully ha have time now or maybe come back to it later where you can switch things off, close the door and just soak up some nice calming um, energy or whatever it is that you might need at that particular time or this particular time. And then we flow in and transition into our time of giving. And this will be time where I'm guiding us and I'll be using the chimes today. I'm going to be guiding us with the chimes through a visualisation, uh, coming together, building up energy, uh, adding people who we may care for who aren't well at this time into our healing circle. And then we will send... Uh, healing and energy and love out throughout the planet and then bring that high vibrational energy down into our body and being and that will be our healing time. I'm going to be uh, working with my healing energy cards as we go. So this is the combined deck of healing energy cards number two with healing energy cards here number one. So 110 cards here. Let's start with this. So while I'm shuffling, uh, why the four of the four? Uh, <laughs> why this, Why doing this on the fourth of the fourth? Um, just purely because it feels good to me to be here on this day of each month when I can. Um, I don't really have any connection with numerology, so I don't know and don't really care that much personally for... Uh, the numerological connection with the fourth of the fourth or any other number for that matter. I have certain numbers that I um, align with, we could say, that um, that show up in my life a lot. But in general, um, I don't really have a, a, any type of inspiration to look further into numerology. But if you do, then there may be some significance in number four for you and that's totally fine um so i'm here because it feels good and that's good enough for me so i've been doing these healing events for many many years um and they used to start on my internet radio program years ago so i'm coming to you live from tasmania australia it is tuesday the 4th of the 4th here 2023 and the time is 10 52 a.m so I'm going to start, we're moving into our time now of receiving. So this is your time for you. So if you have time now, I suggest, or maybe come back later, but if you have time now, I suggest that you take some nice big breaths and really let yourself soak up what you need. Put all the things you've got to do or the obligations and duties that you have and the things that you've got to do later, put all that stuff outside the door I like to imagine that I pop them in a box outside my door and I can come back to them later they're not going anywhere if I just spend this five or ten minutes for myself so I'm looking for the best healing energy card that the majority of us need as we move into this time of receiving 
as always please take on board what feels right and what resonates with you at this time and let the rest go this is just a guide and hopefully it supports you it helps you feel a little bit better than you did before okay healing energy cards number one deck and it's card 18 called rebirth it's in the rise category and down here it says, let go of old wounds that hold you back. Shed that old skin and release. To release is to rebirth. Strip back the expired throat healing and truth. So there's a lot of burning away feeling here with this card. Stripping back like the snake stripping off its or shedding its skin. Like the fire that burns away the debris and the stuff that's been laying around, we could say, that's been, um, oh, the word that comes to mind is that's been cluttering things up for us. And like our trees here in Australia, our, a lot of our trees, the bark sheds away as well. So we have a lot of bark that sort of strips back. So I think of this shedding, this releasing, this stripping back of parts of ourselves that have been holding us back or have been... Um, holding us in a space of insecurity or fear or lack uh, perhaps lately and the stuff that we've been holding on too tightly to that's got no room to heal now so are you ready to strip parts of yourself back your past worries about your future even things about our own personality and attitude and beliefs that aren't serving us at this time. So I'm going to play the drum. I can't play the drum with this microphone pinned to me because it's all rattly and horrible. So I'm going to unpin my microphone, put it aside, and I'm just going to hold this space as I drum for you. So what I would be suggesting is if this card resonates with you, if you really need, you, you find yourself at this time that you really need to release and let go of those old wounds and the things you've been holding on to, then you can use that as your intention as you listen to the drum, that the drum support you and hold you as you let go and as you allow yourself to receive what you need from the drum. Now, if there's something else more personal and more important to you that you need right now, I would spend these few moments as I'm before I start playing the drum, I would spend these few moments just really thinking clearly about what is it that you need or what is it that you want? How do you feel right now? What do you feel is lacking? Are you lacking motivation? Are you lacking strength? Are you lacking calm? Are you feeling worked up? Are you feeling... Uh, concerned or worried are you stressed out are you scared so notice what you're feeling and what I like to do is think about what I need to help resolve that so do I need to uh, summon my strength and my courage to push through the fear that I might be facing right now do I need to let my body heal if it's not well do I need to calm myself down if I've been stressed out so I like to be aware of the reality of how I feel and then apply something as like an antidote that I can apply to support or help me with that intense emotion or whatever it is I might be experiencing. So uh, think about what you need and trust that the drum will provide that for you. So take some big deep breaths. There's nothing you can do wrong. Just listen. And know, give yourself permission to use this time or to give yourself permission to allow yourself this time of receiving. This is for you. This is your time for you. So I'm going to unpin this microphone. Enjoy the drumming.
thank you. I trust you enjoyed that drumming time. The dream weaver, she's casting or putting our dreams out there. It feels like in the mystery in the darkness of the night. Beautiful. Okay, so thank you. That was our time of receiving. And if you just joined in, I was playing the drum with this card in mind. 18 Rebirth. Letting go of the old wounds that are holding us back. So I trust you feel a little calmer or a little bit lighter than you did before. Um, so thank you. So I'm going to pull another card as we move into our time of giving. So if you have to leave, I want to thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully you'll stay for a bit longer yet. Um, if you want to learn more about me and the work I do at Temple of Balance, please visit templeofbalance.com.au. And if you're enjoying this connection today and you're finding it helpful in some way, please interact. Please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment. Please share. Please follow or subscribe uh, if you're new to watching and you'd like to see more. Thank you. So let's grab a card now as we move into our time of giving. This is time now where we're um, preparing to send energy out to others. So maybe give some thought to anybody you know who's struggling at this time on any level. And we're going to have the opportunity to put them into our healing circle today. And uh, we're going to send some love and energy around our planet and join together too. Yes, okay, let's grab the best card that we need as we move into our time of giving. The best card is this one, healing energy card number two. And it's this, yes, card 109, own your power. It's in the action category and down here it says, move forward with strength, strengthen yourself. Take ownership of your power in a healthy, empowering and proactive way. Proceed. So there is something quite simple. There's not a lot in this illustration. There's just a few symbolic things. But it feels like, um, like a honing in, a focused feeling here on what do we want and how are we are going to get there? Or what do we need and how are we going to get there? Uh, what is it that's out of balance for us and how can we move forward towards balance? How can we move forward towards our dreams? But finding or summoning the strength, the courage that we have to proceed uh, to be able to do that. Because it's easy. It's so easy to sit back feeling small and weakened and not proceed and talk ourselves out of it and hesitate and Flat, feel flat and feel small and feel insignificant. That's easy. It's so easy to feel that way. Um, it's, but I'm not saying it's right though. It, I, I, I mean, I don't mean that word right either, but it's easy to be small. Um, so what I'm saying here is it takes effort to summon our strength to be able to move forward and to be able to hone in on the things that we need to hone in or move towards our goals or our dreams or get back into our life again if we've been a bit um, um, depressed or small or holding back. It takes effort for us to break that pattern that we've gotten into that is not proceeding, that is feeling weakened and feeling small. So this card is about owning our power and proceeding. And, you know, proceeding is sort of, in some ways for me, because um, I seem to get into this space quite a lot in regards to uh, being quite proactive in my life. And I find that the, the action part, the, the, the movement part, that is a consequence of me summoning my strength. So if I'm feeling small and weakened uh, for whatever reason, I need to, first of all, focus on strengthening myself. It may take a few minutes. It may take a few days, depending on how I feel or what's going on for me. It could be putting on my favorite mute, uh, song that lifts my spirits and gets me perked up and, and moving and focused and active. It might be a quick spring clean of my house, put my timer on for 30 minutes, 
and go. Um, it, it can be something like that that just helps like waken me up and strengthen me to then be able to proceed forward. And it takes effort. It certainly does take effort to do so. So if you've been feeling the opposite of that, maybe think about what can you do today, like as soon as possible, as soon as this video is over, if, if, if available, to perk yourself up and pep yourself up again. Because no one else is going to do it for us. We have to do it for ourselves. So that's the energy that's coming in as we prepare to move into our time of giving. So I'm going to play the chakra chimes here. Excuse my very ratty box. Um, I'll just put it here on my lap. So I'm going to play the chimes and I'm going to guide us through our time of giving. So you're very welcome to follow what I'm saying. You're very welcome to follow parts of what I'm saying. But I'm always going to encourage you and I'm encouraging you now to follow your intuition. So if your intuition is guiding you to do things differently than what I'm saying, please trust what you need to do. Excuse me. Please trust um, in your intuition above you trusting mine. My job is to trust my intuition. Your job is to trust your intuition. And then we should be able to meet somewhere in the middle. So if you're not sure what to do or you're liking what I'm saying, please feel free to follow me, but don't feel that you have to. So I'm basically going to guide us to reconnect with ourselves again. Then I'm going to bring us together in a circle and share energy out and around between us all to connect us all who are connecting now to help us feel like we belong, that we're a part of something. And then once we create a nice space in this circle, then I'll invite you to put people into our healing circle that may be struggling at this time. Um, and then we'll expand the energy out and around the earth, basically. So I trust you enjoy. So get yourself centered again. <sighs> Take some nice big breaths. And I'm going to start at the heart. Okay. Okay, so let's start with a bit of grounding. So feel your feet on the ground. Or if you're sitting, feel your tailbone on the chair. Or if you're laying, feel your back or your body laying on the bed. So wherever you're touching the ground, wherever the weight of your body is, bring your attention there now. And feel the earth beneath you. And imagine on your next in-breath that you breathe in and up into your body. Beautiful red-brown nurturing energy from the earth. Feel it rise up through your feet or your tailbone, or your spine, depending on your body position now. Feel this energy from the earth come up into your body. It fills you up like you were an empty cylinder. And this earthy energy goes to any places or parts within your body that need it now. You can direct it there specifically, or trust it will go where it's needed. When you're ready, imagine putting your hand out and holding hands with someone next to you on both sides as we stand together in this beautiful circle of love. 
So bring yourself into this circle as we connect. Hold hands and send out energy through our left hand and receive in through our right hand. As we give energy out and around our circle and we receive the energy that's coming around our circle. Giving and receiving in perfect balance. You cannot give more than you receive and you cannot receive more than you give. All is perfectly balanced. And also you cannot take on other people's stuff because you are safe and protected and so it is. So let's continue to build this energy around our circle as we share out and receive in. Building up the energy as it goes. And as this energy flows through our hands, it also moves via our hearts. Connecting our hearts together as one. And now as we've created this beautiful circle of healing, let's imagine placing anyone that we care for who is not well, anyone who's lost or alone, or who might need a bit of love into our circle. So you can imagine them there or you can say their name or think their name and imagine putting them in our circle. We're not going to force this energy upon them though. We're going to offer it to them and trust that they will take it if they want it and if they choose to. And we leave them in this circle for as long as they need to, to receive what they need and want. It's not up to us to force this. It's not up to us to think that we know what's best for another. But if they're struggling, let's offer them this because we care and because we love them. And we respect their choice. So we leave them hold, held now in our circle of love for as long as they want. And now we extend that energy that we've been circulating from hand to hand and heart to heart. And we extend this up now to our crowns as we now link up crown to crown and crown to crown, creating this halo of light between us. And now we expand this halo of light from our crowns and extend it out now around our earth, covering the earth in this beautiful blanket of love. And this love finds anyone who's lost or alone, anyone who's suffering or grieving anyone who just needs a bit of love then this love finds them again we don't force it on them but we offer it and respect their choice we flow this love down into the waterways and the areas of the earth that need it too and down into the hearts of the animals right to the deepest parts of the earth and all the way out into the atmosphere let's not turn this into something direct or specific 
but just as an offering. Okay, now we leave the earth held in this blanket of love as we return our attention back to our circle and now back to ourselves where we draw this high vibrational energy down that we've created before down into our crowns and here it mixes with that earthy energy that we connected with before and here we merge heaven with earth and spirit with matter here we bring all of who we are into this moment oh, here we motivate ourselves and re-energize ourselves to be able to face the things that we're dealing with in life to be able to strengthen ourselves to continue and to endure and to push through our challenges to be able to resolve conflict and to improve who we are to make the changes that need to be made to open new doors and close the doors that are due now to be closed to make the most of our days and the precious time that we do have and not take anything or anyone for granted let's give credit where credit is due and let's be respectful and kind and caring to ourselves and each other as we stand tall now on our path looking ahead maybe not knowing where we're going but we're looking ahead with as much confidence and courage that we can muster ready to take the next step ready to move forward ready to move into life and not look at life from the sidelines anymore. It's our time now to be involved with our own life. Because before we know it, it will be over. So let's participate in our life now. And stop looking on from the sidelines. So it is. So take a nice big breath. And feel what you've needed to receive, anchor and integrate into your body and settle in there thank you thank you so much thank you I trust you enjoyed that time of giving and of course as we give we also receive so I trust you've enjoyed that balance of giving and receiving and that you feel maybe motivated and stronger than you did before and ready to take ownership of your life and the potential that it does have for you right now. You know, sometimes we spend way too much time focusing on who's not there and what's missing and what we've missed and what's, how our life has become when right before us there are probably things or people around that we're not even noticing that can be our lifeline to help pull us or, or push us to that next level. So if you just joined in, I was playing the chimes with this card in mind. Our, it was our time of giving and own your power. Move forward with strength. Strengthen yourself. Take ownership of your power in a healthy, empowering and proactive way. Proceed. Just like this turtle. It is safe for us now. It, and that doesn't even really matter, but sometimes we're in a space where we need to know that we're safe to be able to be ourselves and safe to be able to move out or move into something. But safety 
we can sort of put that aside, I feel, because it feels like we are ready. We are ready to be able to move forward and to be able to own our power. And it takes power. It takes strength and confidence and courage, like I said before, to be able to, to move in that direction. It's easy to sit back. And it's, it's a suffering place to be in. It's not nice. So if you're tired of the suffering, you're tired of feeling weak and small and weakened, then take your power back. Take your power back now. Take your power back today. How can you take your power back? Okay, how can you do that? How do I take my power back? Well, I shared a few tips before. So recognizing that I'm feeling powerless and small and I'm tired of feeling that way. It's not good enough for me. So if I've been feeling that way for three days, that's long enough for me. So I have a three-day rule. If, it's, uh, if I'm feeling that way for three days, that's it. Third day, done. So then I need to motivate myself. And I motivate myself often. I'm not always in a motivated state. So I need to keep myself motivated. I need to set myself goals. I need to set myself projects to do. I need to have things... Um, that inspire me, that I, I want to pursue, pursue, that don't feel like obligation, that feel something that uplifts me and something that thrills me, something that gets me awake early in the morning to do because I'm so excited to do it. I need things like that quite often for me personally, so I need to have those. When I don't have them for a little bit, I, I need to find something or create something or make something so that I have some incentive. I need incentive. I need goals to move towards so I, and I make sure they're practical and I make sure they're doable I make sure they're achievable for me because there's, oh, but there's a lot worse but it's not really that motivating to set a goal that is just so unrealistic that we've got no hope of reaching in the near future so I make small goals at first you know it could be just making my bed today it might be cleaning up it might be cooking myself a meal if I'm feeling quite low and then the goals can become longer as we get more energy and more uh, will to be able to proceed with those. So it, re it really is a mindset, um, putting on some uplifting music or songs, you know, getting active, going for a walk, cleaning up. Uh, that sort of stuff can also be very helpful. So I trust that helps. There's many other different things and ways as well. So I'm going to pull a card to go. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Like I said before, if you have enjoyed this video, please interact. Please visit my website. Please support my work through my website. If you've been uh, enjoying my work for a while and you haven't supported for a while or ever, um, I'm here because of your support. So you can grab yourself a deck of cards or two on my website that I created. I've got my drum and a couple of drums on the website. Um, I've got pendants and all sorts of different things. Books. Actually, there's a book sale on now. My first four books are on sale for $40, which is $10 a book, which is less than half price. So that will be available till next week. So if you want to learn more, if you want to support my work, if you want to see it continue, then please um, have a look on my website. So thank you. Let's grab a card to go. So the best card I'm looking for now is what do we need to know for what's next? How can we move forward from here? That's the card I want to find. So, you know, it's nice. Hopefully it's nice that you can sit back and receive and, and be in this space with me. But the reality of where it makes a difference is in our life. So when you turn this off soon, what are you going to do? Do you go back into the same habits that you were, going, that you were in before that was keeping you low and small? Or can you start something new to make this really count in your life? That's the card I'm looking for. So I'm looking for the best card the majority of us need to know for what's next, especially for around the next 24-ish hours. So what's next? How can, uh, yeah, what do we need to know for what's next? That's all. Okay, we've got this healing energy cards number two. And it's this. Ah, this is the last card in the deck, card 110, which is so cool. It's so cool to have card 110 numbered here. 110, coming full circle. This is in the rise category, so that brings an energy of upliftment. Upliftment rise like the phoenix. And down here it says, the end of an old era. 
to, and the start of a new era. So at the start of a new chapter, the end of an old chapter. Life goes on. Endings are also beginnings. What if the ending's actually not the end? What actually if the new beginning is where the cycle that we think is finishing with the endings, what if it's actually at the new beginning that it ends? Completion. A new phase starts. Bittersweet. Sometimes endings are bittersweet. Sometimes new beginnings are bittersweet. A message and close the door. So coming full circle. There is a sense here of something ending and something beginning. And if you're struggling to let something go, that a door closed that's wanting to close, then maybe give that some thought over this next day or so. Um, and where this sits in regards to the new beginning and the cycle that's in place at the moment. So what's in cycle? Are you dealing with life, death, birth stuff? Because that's sort of big at the moment as well as we move this full circle. Um, you know, from, yeah, birth, life and death is a really interesting a really interesting cycle that's playing out at this time. And I find it really interesting. My grandmother, who's now 98, like I can see her moving so much back into those early years of life. You know, like when children are like one, she's doing little things that um, you do when you're one or two, like hide your crust behind your bed or um, uh, pretend something doesn't exist when it does. There are little characteristics that are coming back out as I see her going back in that sort of full circle. It's sort of an interesting thing to watch. So what's coming full circle for you? What's in, it's in life, birth, death cycle for you at the moment and what can you learn from that? Um, are you worried and scared about making um, or, or having a door close or endings that are present at this time, including that death energy if you've um, had a loss recently? And my condolences if you have, um, because that is also part of that cycle that moves through. So uh, grief, letting ourselves grieve through, um, you know, and we don't have to have lost someone to be grieving because any type of change of something that we used to enjoy or a person that's leaving our life and they might be moving away or something, um, that's also can bring forward loss and grief. So letting ourselves move through this cyclic time uh, feels to be important. Um, let's keep focusing on the new beginnings and not too much on what's not here anymore, but focusing on where we can take this. Um, I like to remind myself too, what's the opportunity in this challenge? So uh, when there's a, cha a big challenge I'm facing that I'm feeling distraught about, I like to try and I think, okay, what is an opportunity? What's the opportunity in this? How can I grow from this? How can I improve myself from this? How can I improve my life from this experience? And try and look at the positive in that sort of negative situation potentially um, and let the new phase start. This is normal. This is normal. We all go through this many, many times in our life, is the, these big transitional circles. So, you know, we can feel like we're the only ones experiencing it, but we're not. So we're not alone in this. And it will move through if we let it. So it's a cycle. It always moves. It won't stay this way forever. So in other words, what we might be experiencing now is temporary. And it's going to be up to us, most likely, as to how temporary it is. Is it temporary for 10 years or is it temporary for 10 days? That sort of thing. So, you know, our attitude really is uh, is important here. So coming full circle, card 110, finalising, completing things, letting ourselves move on and sending forth. Sending forth our message of, of love, really. This this bird here is holding a little note, and on this note it just says love, re repeating itself. So this is like the message, messenger that we're sending out from ourselves now, a message of love and hope and peace for our future. So I trust that resonates with you in some ways. Thank you so much for joining me today. Happy 4-4. Uh, the 4th of the 4th. Hopefully I'll be back on the 5th of the 5th because that is my favourite month because it is my birthday month in, the, in May. So I do hope to be back then. So I might see you then. And I'll definitely be back in between now and then with other videos. Please uh, have a great rest of your day. 
Thank you so much for joining me and I do trust you feel even a little bit better than you did before. Have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Namaste. And namaste means that the divine, the creator in me, honours and acknowledges the divine, the creator in you. That we are equal and we are one. So thank you for being who you are and hopefully you feel revived and ready to connect with that power within you, that healthy power. Take care. Namaste.